So it's episode three of NK Maribor, and we're going again in Europe for the Puskas Academy. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Maribor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot, or Dave. You can call me whichever one you want, really. Get in the comments. Dave or Cultured Left Foot? What do you prefer me doing the intro as? Um, <laughs> yes, so... Summary, the board are satisfied so far. We, they're delighted with the positive atmosphere in the changing room. They're pleased with our 5-0 win over Penne Pasta in the last episode. And they're very pleased with a 3-1 victory over Garika. However, they're cons- very concerned about the lack of support I've got because no reputation. So we've got to build that up. They're very disappointed with the 1-1 draw with Bravo. And they're disappointed with the finances involved in the deal to sell Luka Yuzakovic, who we've sold. Who isn't very good? Nowhere near the fourth team. Another six foot four centre back, but he was nowhere near the first team. He was actually in the under 19s as a 24 year old. We cashed on him and got 25.5 thousand pounds, possibly raising to 38 and a half thousand pounds. But he has gone, and he's he's okay, but he's not really. He was never getting into the uh, the team we've got, and this team is currently top of the league, going very well indeed. Play three, one, two, draw and one. Um, the draw with Bravo was. Disappointing last minute equaliser for them absolutely ruined it for us. So, but we're there at the top seven. We're actually joined with Tabor Cesano, who have just got promoted. Uh, I think, oh no, they haven't. They finished seventh last year. But yeah, so we're we under there. Um, Olympia Ljubljana have turned it around somewhat after their seven nil shellacking in the first game by Mura. Uh, they're now a point behind us. But yeah, it's all starting to uh, to take shape really. The first league game of the season against Domzale when we won two nil, I was like very excited. I was like, yes, we're going to hit the ground running. It's going to go fine. Turns out they're terrible. Um, played three, lost three. Goal difference of minus four. So <laughs> they're not having a very good time of it. Tavares leads our top scorer list with three in the league. Mitrovic at the back has a 7.67 rating as well. Um, Morosa is an interesting one. We are scouting Morosa as a potential striker to come and join the club. Obviously, we've got to buy division rival players So as part of our board vision. And uh, so that's very interesting as well. So we are scouting him. And we might be scouting Berkic as well. Yes, we've scouted Berkic in central midfield. as a 20-year-old in there. So it is interesting to have that that vision as part of the club because I've never had that before. And it's, uh, it makes it very different to how to do it. Scouting, using players only your scouts find, really does slow the whole process down and probably make it much more realistic in terms of how many players you get through the door at this sort of level. Because... No more. No more. Lucas Sales has come in, and that's still the only one we've done. He's now made a couple of appearances. One appearance in, in Europe it was against Penne Pasta. But overall, it, yeah, there's not too much to do. I think a right winger is what we need. Matko's having some good performances, but beyond him, there's a bit of a lack. Uh, a bit of a lack in depth that we can pick in that position. Um, and we, we just need to focus on what we're doing. But generally... We're doing okay. We're doing okay, as you can see. We won 2 0, won 5 0. We drew 1 1 against Bravo, beat Garika 3 1, and now we're back for the uh, Europea, Europa League League Path second qualifying round. I still don't know what that means. Is this the. So you have the League Path preliminary, which we didn't do. You have League Path first qualifying round, League Path second qualifying round, League Path third qualifying round. League path, fourth qualifying round that gets you into the group stage. Okay, so if we win this, we're two games away from the group stage. So what's this one then? Champions path, champions path, champions path. Okay, so we're not too far away from the group stage. And and these games all seem to just be one leg. And we're at home again. I don't know how home and away is decided, if it's just luck. But we had home against uh, Penne Pasta, we're home against Puskas, and it's a one-off game. So... Let's go and see. It's three from seven subs uh, plus one extra in extra times. So it does go straight to extra time if it's level scores. No away goals or anything like that. Let's get into it. Let's go and have a look. So we're not really going to change the team. The attacking, uh, the assistant manager, sorry, suggests that we actually don't go as attacking. So sort of thinking a closer game than normal, I would suggest, because normally he's like, go very attacking and just take it to them and batter them. But we're not going to quite do that today we've um we've got Pilic in goal Milek Matana, uh, Martinovic Mitrovic Villa Derevicevic Vahovic Matko Kronovica Pozeg Vankas and Marcos Tavares is what's going to be starting for us we are no longer doing the overlaps on either side we are now being a bit more expressive because 
the board want us to play attacking, entertaining football. So I feel like that's a, a bit more freedom allows them to be more entertaining. That's how I feel about it. We're playing for set pieces, although we're not really scoring too many of them um, at the moment. We are now counter-pressing, but we're giving it to the playmaker as quickly as we can. And we've decided we're going to force the opposition out wide because of the height of our central uh, centre-backs. It's If they put crosses in... In theory, we should win the crosses a lot because they are giants in the air. They are absolutely superb. So that's how we're going to line up for this one. Um, the bench is going to be uh, Klamanek is going to come on instead of Klinar, just to, for left back. Mizanovic, Mizanovic, I'm, I'm still not sold. I've only played him a couple of times. He's got 6.4 in the league. He's played, well, that's it. I mean... I, I might try and cash in. I might try and cash in. It's very hard to sell players as Maribor because we pay people the most in the league. It's a bit like the Man United scenario when they can't really offload Jesse Lingard or Phil Jones because they pay them too much money and no one wants to take those wages up. That's very similar to uh, to appear what happens at Maribor. But other changes we've done. The wingers are now both... Oh, no, no. Matt Coe is going to go back to a normal winger because we're not doing the overlap. But... Um, Pozeg, Vankas and Matko are now on support and we have Kronovita who doesn't defend and it sort of plays into a bit more of a 4-4-2 as we were talking about before. But uh, yeah, let's get into it and see how we go. I mean, Marcos Tavares is in superb form, so hopefully he can keep up for this game. There's a lot of green in this bit, which is obviously what we want to do. Uh, we're going to go to the match. There we go. There's the little team sheet. I do like these team sheets. They do look nice. Um, Baluto is their best player. Yeah, go on. Tackle him hard. Let's get in on him hard. Let's go for it. Go on him hard. Get him in hard. Uh, point the finger. So, um, outstretched arms. Pick up where you left off last time. Yeah, that's that's worked right. Point the finger. Faith. Attackers. Point the finger. I have faith. Midfielders. Outstretched arms. Pump fist. Take control of the midfield. Yeah, it sort of worked. It sort of worked. Maybe. Ish. Let's go. Your team selection is offered a little by way of surprise. Are you confident? Um, yeah. Make us slight favourites. We've prepared well. I have to make sure we start well. Um, and he carries his recent good form. He's playing really well. I hope he carries on doing so. There we go. So, the referees are out. The players are out. The lineups are happening. Pause the game. Pause the video, even. Where What's the score going to be? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to watch a stream... Uh, uh, football manager as well you can see me at twitter uh, no you can't you can see me on twitch.tv forward slash cultured underscore left underscore foot where we're doing uh, monday and wednesdays around about midday um uk time is, is when we get going but this game is dull 13 minutes in nil nil first highlight pitic mitrovic Mitro mitrovic i don't know why i struggle to say that Vahovec, pozeg vankas what can we do here pozeg vankas is a little bit deeper, but now he's on that support role, but that's gone out to Villa pretty well. He's got a bit of movement in front of him, Villa. He's going to try and do it all on his own, and he has done well, and it's a good ball in. Matko! Oh! The youngster. I said he's playing well, and there's no real backup to him, and that's the thing. He's got an eye for a goal, this boy, and he is a youth academy project. So, um, Alios Matko could well be someone that sticks around for a long, long time to let us tick off that always have one youth prospect in the team and it, at the moment it's Alios Matko and what a fantastic start 13 minutes in one nil up now this should be a relatively difficult game so we'll see how it unfolds so goal kick we've taken it pretty short into uh, Drivicic who's the playmaker who drops off to come and get the ball so Pozeg Vankas comes forward with it again he's been pretty good in the first opening bits of the season Villar back to Vankas Vankas, ball across, Matt goes there, he's hit the post on the rebound, he's put it in. It's his third goal of the season, his second goal today. I'll tell you what, you give him a little bit of praise on camera, and all of a sudden he's an absolute world beater. Um, Villa did really well. Villa's, we've got to find a replacement for Villa. He's 34 now, he won't be able to run up and down that wing like he's doing every time this season, as Toth is beaten on the rebound by Matko. It's a great start, 19 minutes in. We, uh, we're doing well. We'll praise them. So, corner. Kronovita over it. And he goes, Mitrovic is there over the bar. Skim the top of the bar. It goes over. We've dropped down a positive now that we've got a two-goal lead. Very happy with this performance. Toth goes long with a goal kick for the Puskas Academy. Oh, there's loads of space there as Mance is in. And he's hit the post. What happened to our defence there? There was terrible marking happening there. As Mance, the target man, was just left completely free. Kronovita is fouled. No, ref says play on. Mitrovic... Has the ball. Puts it into Vahovec, who has scored some absolute bangers. We'll show you some highlights after this of the uh, previous games. As Pozvankas is there. It's blocked. And Villa, the left back. I said he won't be able to get up and down the left wing all the time like he's doing today. But it's ended in a goal. What a performance this is. 3-0 up against the Puskas Academy. As Mitrovic picked Villa out with a wonderful pass. 
He then held the ball up, laid it back to Pozek Vankas, shot, blocked, fell to Villa, right place, right time, just in past the post. His first goal of the season, but it's 3-0 in this game. Lovely stuff. Oh, there's a, a call of offside here. Villa, I mean, what? That's... Error, football manager, error. So half time then, 2 0 up. What a performance. It was actually pretty even XG wise just before uh, we scored that goal, I think, because there's a goal there to make it 1 0. Um, 2 0, so that must have been 2 0, and then 3 0 was up here. Yeah, it's just missing the, the little ball symbols, which is a little bit annoying. But uh, yeah, really good performance so far. I'm actually really happy with this. Go outstretched arms and say, I'm really happy with it. I mean, there's not much else to say, really. And we'll give them a bit more praise here as well. So they all get a little green smiley face in the bottom of the board, which is lovely to see. So just under an hour gone, Villa with a throw. Kronovita heads it back to him. Villa beats his man. Beats all. Oh, thought I was about to say beats another one to get to the byline, but he didn't. It's cleared away. Milik, Kronovita. Kronovita shoots. Oh, what a finish from Rock Kronovita. And it's a lovely goal. His first goal of the season. Genius from Rock Kronovita is what the commentary says. And uh, Milik did really well in the goal, but Plisek... Poor clearance, and it was just recycled by the right-back, Milek. And he gave it into Kronoveta, who just rifles a right-foot shot. Maybe got a little nick off someone there. But 4-0, I thought this was going to be a close game, and it's not. We are absolutely battering them. 20 minutes to go. They've only had one shot on target from seven attempts. We've had six on target from nine. We've been pretty lethal in this game, to be honest. Uh, let's maybe look to just make a substitution. So Verhovek is getting a bit tired, uninterested, 6.7. Uh, Verhovic can come off and be replaced by um, yeah, Hilek in there as well. And uh, Tavares can come off and be replaced by Jan Malaka up front. Or Malaka, Malaka, M Mal Malaka. We've got a throw in. Pozeg Vankas is fouled. Get him off. Get Baluta off. He's their best player. Get him off. He's the one that uh, Vicente, our chief scout, reported to us to say we need to watch out for him. But he has gone. And we should be able to see this game out very easily now. Going into the final five minutes. Yeah, we're looking good. I like it. Throw in. Villa up to Kronoveta. Goes down to Van Kass, but it's covered by Nunes. Solunki. Maifa gets it away. Or Weifa? Maifa? Weifa? But uh, Matko, he's on a hat trick. He lays this one off to Milek, who's giving him a bit of support on the right. Ball across. Mihailik's there. Oh! It was a beautiful effort. This is the thing with liking the shots from range, as all of our players seem to do. They do have a lot of good efforts that look good, as that's. How has that found its way in? Antonio Mance has, has stuck that in. I, I'm not... What's happened there? Kiss put the corner in. Mance heads it down. It's gone through. Martinovic misses his kick. This Their guy misses his kick. And Pirich just reacts a bit late. 4-1. No clean sheet bonuses for everyone. Cancel them. Oh, right. Well, it looks like we're going to get a very easy win to go into the part, league path, Europa League third qualifying round which is where i think the board wanted us to get to um and then we win that and then it's win the fourth one and we're in the group stage which would be huge for money wise tv money uh, reputation boost and everything like that it will be absolutely huge as they're in again mance can't get to that one mitrovic just puts his foot through it and we'll give him one last shout of praise as we are four one up in a very what should have been a tight game the the pre-game report thing suggests that it was going to be close and a uh, home advantage could be the only way reason we win it. But we battered them. We battered them. XG of 1.48, we scored four. So we really outdid our XG and 0.62 for them. But yeah, there you go. I mean, outstretched arms, very nice victory. Well done, everybody. Absolutely bloody superb. It's what we like to see, 4-1. So uh, Maribor turned dominance into victory against the Puskas Academy, which is lovely. We are... Through into that one, we get 230. We get Kairat, Football Club Kairat, Football, Football Club Kairat. Where are they from? Belarus, Kazakhstan. They are from Kazakhstan. Again, I would picture ourselves to win that. I just imagine Slovenia is much better than Kazakhstan at football. Uh, but we are going to be away. Kairat have been drawn as the home team in the ties to the game we played at. So, yeah, okay, it is interesting. Uh, rearrangements of fixtures again because of all of this. So let's have a quick look where it's fitting in. See, we won't come back for that. That's too soon, I think. So hopefully we'll be back for the fir the fourth qualifying round to see if we get into the group stage. Or we could do that one off. Now, we'll do a short episode today and then we'll come back and do the fourth qualifying round, um, I think, in the next one. If we get through that game, that is, of course. And if we don't get through that game, then we've got to the point where the board wanted us to get to anyway. So 
What was I going to show you? Yes. Oh, some lovely, lovely goals. So, Garika. Uh, if we go into this game, the pick of these was uh, Marcos Tavares and Vahovic second. So, we'll look at Tavares's goal first, which was an absolute dream to see. And he had a great game. So Villa picked it up on the left wing. A ball over the top. And Tavares got through. Knew he didn't have the pace to get away from the defenders. Saw the keeper off his line. And just little dink over him. Absolutely beautiful right on the stroke of half time. And uh, Vahovec in the 47th minute pulled out this. He got the ball. Laid it off. Got it back. Had a shot. It was blocked. Came back to him and rifled it in from about 35 yards. 30, 35 yards. Absolute beaut. And uh, while we're here, we might as well watch his first one. Kronoveta came down the right-hand side, put it across. It was laid back to him, and then just a hit. And in the sort of level of football for Slovenia, a lot of those that go on target go in because the goalkeepers aren't very good, which is absolutely great. But, yeah, let's have a quick look at the staff as well, and then we'll end the episode there. So I was going to show you the staff screen, but I've realised it's actually easier for me to just show you this um, as in transfer history and look at staff because... So we've, we knew we bought in Mpenza, Vicente as well. We've now bought in Ivan Parasina as another scout. 13 potential and 11 uh, ability. We have a fitness coach, Andrea or Andre, Andre Vaux, a Jamaican fitness coach who joins the club. Um, his actual fitness levels aren't brilliant. And I thought I was giving him a job as just a coach, but he's coming as a fitness coach. So when we can give a chance to renew his contract, we'll actually bring him in. As just a general coach. We've brought in Miran Emerisic as well as a fitness coach who has decent fitness and good level of discipline. Uh, as, as a Slovenian as well. Uh, we've brought in Joel Thiel as a scout. So 11, 11 and adaptability 20. So we're chucking him around lots of different places to go and look at them. And he brings Ivorian knowledge with him which is good. Goalkeeping coach Bodot and Maverick has joined. So all round good goalkeeping coach there. And Igor Klopcic has joined as a physio from MK Domzale with Physiotherapy 20, which is always what you like to see in your physios. And that is it. As I said, no other deals other than uh, we've sent Nino Ugrolic on loan to Fuzinar, who are an affiliate of ours. I think I discussed that last time. We've bought in sales. We've sold Uskovic and all the others have happened uh, before, before we were here. Nick Horvath, I remember him from... 2017, yeah. I think he was uh, a relatively high-rated youngster at Maribor. Zahovic obviously left, and then we've sent two people to Cooper as well, which is a 22-year-old Bosnian striker. Muller Zahajinovic, I'm glad he's gone because that's a mouthful of a name. And uh, Alexandra Rachevic at centre-back also left. But that was before we were here, and Luka Zahovic is still the one we want. He is the one that we want. do do ba do ba do Ooh, ooh, ooh. Luka Zahovic. We've got to bring him home as part of the objective. But we are doing okay in terms of scouting assignments. You can see a bit more of the admin behind the scenes now. So we've sent Joel Teela to UK and Ireland to see if he can find anyone we can potentially take on a loan that may not be getting football, um, as much football as they want that can help us out. We've got Ivan Palestina in the Premier League for eight for nine months, actually. He's gone there for nine months to look at um, potential first-team talent that can join us that's transfer listed and stuff like that. Vicente is scouting Slovenia. Uh, and Penza is just looking for squad players around the world, as is Dimitri Caburo as well. And then uh, Victor Palacios, our head performance analyst, who has ta tactical knowledge 7 and analysing data 8, is telling us about um, opposition that we're coming up against. So, yeah, we're not getting that good scout reports, to be honest, about the opposition. But in terms of scout reports, these are the sort of uh, players we're finding. We are... Because... We obviously all these people that we see, we can't really see what stats they actually have because well, we just can't because we're li lowly little Maribor. But uh, we have to go on the ratings on the side. So 78, 77 aren't too bad. Jan Maslow is someone I've not really checked out yet, but again, a 30, 34 year old centre back, we just don't need it. Jonathan Westerberg, one for the future at uh, 18 years old, 8k. I'm we're getting a few more scouts uh, reports on him to see how he comes back. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Training-wise, so how I set up training, uh, in terms of individual training, we have a, a few things set up for the younger members of the team. So uh, can we go through here? As you can see here, so yeah, the younger members of the team are having a bit of a focus. They've changed what, what the positions I want them to focus on as well. And uh, I'll probably need to go through and do a few more of these as well. But generally, I haven't touched them too much because the team's quite old. I think when we start signing new players through and get new youth candidates and youth intakes and stuff like that, I'll be a bit more involved with all of this. In terms of training, um, I've gone through and just been setting it up for what sort of games we have 
come in. Obviously, we've got a game very close to this one against that we just won against Puskas Academy. So we've got a match review of the Puskas game, which will go through and help with tactical familiarity. Then we're just having a general overall training before we go and play Alumji. Uh, and then we've got basically a whole week, but now we've got Football Caliat, so it's been uh, sort of derailed a little bit. So I need to go through uh, and change these ones. So might as well do that here so you can see what I can do. So uh, with this one... I would go through and do match prep and do a match review because it's the day after the LMG game. We don't want back-to-back -back overall, but I think I think we can go out there and basically beat them. So we're going to focus on attack. We're going to focus on attacking play here. We're going to get rid of that defending. We're going to go set pieces, attacking corners. We should be pretty deadly from corners. Do you know, uh, we're going to travel that day. So let's have a full day of training here. And we're actually going to go uh, set piece delivery because we need to focus on set pieces so i think that's enough to set us up to get a win at football club Cariat. um we do have a rest there let's do a bit of team bonding just before just before the game which shouldn't be too bad should get that bit of rest afterwards and again we will go for after it we'll go for a match review we will then go for a general overall training we just get a lot of focus for a lot of different people in there it doesn't focus too much on attack or defense or goalkeepers it gives everyone a sort of run out and yeah, and then the clubs, the, the games come thick and fast, to be honest. I go month by month when I do my training, by the way. So I wouldn't go through and set up things like this far in advance to go through what I want to look at. I will do it month by month as it goes. But yeah, well, there you go. There's a bit of background for you to how I do my things. If you found that interesting, let me know and I can touch a little bit more on that and answer some questions if you've got them. But uh, yeah, I, it's great to be back playing what will be the long-term save on the channel. Uh, there should be lots of other stuff going on the channel as well. Provo, other football manager stuff with Man United and uh, Master League on Provo and Become a Legend and things like that. But it's, it's really good. It's a bit of a shorter episode, I think, today, although I have rambled on quite a lot. So, yeah, leave your comment down below. If you've got this far in the video, let's leave a let's leave a little comment that says Nutella on toast, just to see if it confuses some people. And uh, for now, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.